legal theories to a client. She also attacked Politico, which first reported the news of the memos for violating attorney-client privilege. Meanwhile, Jay Sekulow also responding to CNN, uh, saying that he, too, never advocated uh, for Vice President Mike Pence to do anything other than his constitutional authority. But he also defended Ellis, saying that she had every right as an attorney to the president to offer up different legal options that he may have had at that time. The uh, select committee, as you know, also issued a new round of subpoenas today. Uh, who do they target? Yeah, so th this round of subpoenas today will, uh, not necessarily too many household names, but their role in what took place in the days leading up to January 6th are very important. Among them, uh, Robert Bobby Petey Jr., Max Miller, who is of course uh, running for Congress right now uh, in Ohio, Brian Jack, Brian Lewis, Ed Martin, and Kimberly Fletcher. And, and PD and Max Miller are, are of particular interest to the committee because this is the first time the committee has talked about a direct link between the rally organizers, people that uh, planned rallies on uh, January 4th, 5th, and 6th that took place here in Washington that drew people to Washington. Many of those that participated in those rallies ended up storming the Capitol on that day. And both Miller and PD joined Katrina Pearson, who was also under subpoena in a meeting with the former president in the executive dining room at the White House where they discussed plans for the rallies. Now, we don't know exactly what took place uh, in the conversation surrounding that, but this is one of the first times that we're hearing about the president in a room with rally organizers discussing plans for that day. Wolf. All right, Ryan Nobles uh, reporting for us from Capitol Hill. Thank you, Ryan, very, very much.